Today, I take a brief overview of the Zwift Companion App 3.0. First up, if you're not familiar with the Zwift Companion app, it's effectively a remote control for your Zwift session. You can load the Companion app on your mobile phone and connect to your Zwift session on Mac, PC, or Apple TV, etc. And you've got a little bit more control in your hands. The last few revisions we've seen have just added a little more and a little more functionality each time. And today, 3.0 adds a few very interesting features to the Companion app experience. I'll put links below to this website here from Zwift, which fully explain everything that's new, but what stood out for me were the few things as follows. Well, number one, activity analysis and review. Very interesting competition, I guess you'd call it, with Strava here on this one, on the mobile app. Race results are now published within the companion app. Training plan overview, so you can get a little bit longer review of where things are heading with your training plan if you signed up to one of those within Zwift. And meetups, where Zwift have almost given us the key to the events car to have a little bit more control over the events held on Zwift. Loading up the Zwift companion app here to have a look at what's new and the initial load screen here looks very familiar. Not much change at all here. But what we'll do, we'll look for the ride analytics of an event that has taken place or an activity that I've done. So we click over to activities down the bottom there. We've got feed filters so I can say everybody in my feed here, I can go to my favorites or I can go to just me. So for example, I'll look at the Just Me ride and the analytics of that. Well, for example, let's go to the Alpaca Punch workout that I did the other day. So clicking on that, it gives us an animated map and where all the ride-ons came. But we can also scroll sideways and grab the data analytics. So there's not much detail there. It's not the training peaks online or what you get from Strava web interface, but I can scroll through and see the overall picture of that workout with some additional stats there. So we can add, remove cadence, add, remove power, add, remove heart rate, and uh, scroll down, see some pictures there. I can add some private notes to that workout. That was tough. And there's also public comments there. So very much like Strava, adding a public comment there. Nice work, Llama. Which is all kind of weird that I'm commenting on myself in the third person there. But you can add public comments to people's uh, activities. Very interesting. And again, very much like what Strava have done. One thing I would like to see though is that data and those analytics up on my.zwift.com so we don't have to use our finger to try and produce some interesting stats and analytics from our rides after we've done them. It's a bit limited scrolling through with our finger. It's interesting, pretty much just eye candy for the moment though. Next up is the inclusion of race results. So for example here, if I scroll to the hump day ride, which I took part in the other day, which is an event which had race results at the end. So any results that you see pop up at the end of a ride on Zwift, they do disappear. They're now in the app and you can go back and have a look through. So we can scroll here, race results, and as you can see there, all the same stats as we see on the screen. I think that's an interesting one because what we're seeing there is more of an adoption or an ownership of the races and race results from Zwift and not just offloading them to Zwift Power. I'm keen to see where this heads in the future and especially when it comes to disqualifications and uh, yeah, validation of race results. For the training plan overview, I will refer to the screen grab here because I'm not signed up to a training plan on Zwift, but if you are, you can get a broader overview of what's coming up on the horizon for your workouts. And finally, meetups, which is probably the most significant update we've seen to both the companion app and the Zwift experience. In regards to event organization, it gives users the power to create their own event and invite their friends to join them for the ride. It's not quite the full event module we see with other events, but it's sort of a halfway between ride with and the event module itself. So it gives users the ability to invite their followers along, up to 50 of their followers along to join the ride. So if we click on events, I've already created a test one here, but I can create another meetup. We can create a date and time. So let's go here, Friday 14th of December, time done. Now this does depend on the map that is live on Zwift. So there's no world selection for this just yet. There is course selection. So we can go and do the Innsbruck ring loop. We can change distance or duration. So 60 minutes, we can hit done. From there, my event is created and I can invite my followers from there, only followers at this point in time. And I do have to go and search those people out and invite them. So it's a little bit limited for now. We'll see how we go. So let's invite, uh, the people will probably get a notification. So I don't want to annoy anyone. Coach Chops, let's get Coach Chops. We'll invite Chops along to the ride. Thanks for being the guinea pig, Chops. And you can see there, Chops is now on the list and he'll get a notification that I want him to attend my ride. He can log into the app, join the ride and away we go. 
These won't start at the normal starting points. You'll be, I believe, on the side of the road, and I will be the ride leader with the yellow beacon chevron above my head. So it's sort of halfway there. Not quite the full touchdown, I'd hope. What I'd like to see with this functionality in the near future is my ability to create an event and send out a URL to people to choose if they want to join the ride or not. At the moment, Zwift being global, I could probably send out 50 invites and probably get five people back if it suits them. But if I was to send out a URL, people can then click if they're going to join and away we go. Still a very, very cool feature and I'm keen to get stuck into that a lot more when we get back home in the Llama Lab. So there's my overview of the Zwift Companion App version 3. In summary, I'd say it's Zwift taking background on Strava in regard to the mobile analytics there and the comment section. Zwift are also taking steps to own the race results, which is interesting times if they're gonna to have to deal with disqualifications and verification of those race results. And also the handing over of the keys, finally, in regards to the events. So we can run our own events and invite our friends along for those. Interesting stuff. We'll deep dive into a few of these extra features in the near future. Watch out for those. Thanks for watching.